I was really excited and happy, of course, for this occasion and opportunity. But I have to say, of course, I was nervous, but I, I'm lucky because I got this right nervousness in the moment so I could um, develop a sound and I'm very, very happy. So now I'm really, really grateful that, especially also the audience was really attentive. So because I'm usually very sensitive about what is happening if, if there's somebody talking or you hear some coffee making, you know, like the bar. So, but I really had the feeling, okay, we are together now in a conversation and if I'm reaching this point, if I can give some, somebody this thing, <laughs> then I'm very happy. And so now I'm very happy. It's, and I'm also very happy that it's over, to be honest, <laughs> because it was a very moment I was looking for and, you know, I was counting the days and counting the minutes and then finally you're there and the release concert of a debut album is always special. Yeah. The, the, the need, the inner urge for doing this is very old, I can say. Um, of course, I'm inspired by Jared, who really brought or shifted the, 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 the genre solo piano to a very new stage. And I think everybody is, every musician, I would say, is really influenced. Every jazz musician and especially every piano player is influenced by him. Anyhow, so this was always kind of a, a flame burning inside of me. And of course, the, the pandemic um, locked me in and I had to confront myself with, okay, also we all had these thoughts, what is going to happen? And so I, I came to a point where I, I, I could set my priorities new. And of course, I, I was always, um, I, the purpose, the color was, in the, in the pandemic already kind of successful. So I knew that this will not die. But I also said to myself, okay, it's now the point where I can start something new. And then I got this uh, wonderful occasion as well. I, I bought a grand piano and then I really spent a lot of time practicing and developing a sound, composing and trying out things failing, trying again, thinking, asking people, and then bit by bit, the whole thing got a face, got a structure, you know? It took a long time, to be honest. It was also on the edge of getting panic. <laughs> but I think I, because of this inner flame was so intense, and so there was su such a need. And if you have it in, in, any, in any field of life, either you're doing sport or whatever, if you have this flame and this need, then, then it will happen, the sooner or later, definitely. I believe in that.
we wanted to develop some kind of uh, um, ac ac acoustic and electric electric drumming uh, band. And um, at the time we were just the two of us we were rehearsing, and then we we thought uh, who could be the third one uh, um, we, we could uh, bring in the band, and it was. Uh, from the beginning, it was clear it should be uh, uh, you. Um. I think there was like a, a basic inspiration um, that also came from the concert that you did saw for percussion ensemble, and we had like the, the idea to form kind of a percussion ensemble, but not with only percussion instruments. And uh, this was like the basic uh, vision, but then everything um, developed very organic. We just improvised um, on a weekly basis. And I think that's why we can have a very intuitive way to also play our mm -hmm. concerts. <coughs> that it's um, always free improvised. Mm -hmm. And I really like that, um, that we can also play in venues for free improvised music and uh, in festivals which are more like contemporary jazz and I think it's nice because sometimes when everything works well then everybody says oh wow what how you compose and no it's just improvised and this is a really good compliment because we are just listening and yeah this is it's really exciting but and intense, but it's really special. Throw out your wallets, throw out your cards, throw out your shiny little rings and all your cards. Build a new civilization on the ruins of our possessions And the only thing that matters is to dance Get all your people and spread the news I'm coming up with a new meaning and new rules Leave your belongings at the door and just take what you really need You feel the breeze of something changing in the street We got it all. Open the door and do a magic wake up call. Use your feet and all your heart. It's the beginning of the start. Up on the wagon with you, we're about to roll. Lay down your daily tasks and all the future plans. You don't need to waste your thought on the glory and your stance. We build a new civilization on the ruins of our possessions. And the only thing that matters is to dance Throw everything you own Everything you own to the ground
First of all, it's a big pleasure to play here uh, in this uh, very famous club, I would say. And uh, at first we started like as a pop project and we kind of stumbled into the jazz world. And um, now we really like it here and also our sound developed more into a non-pop sound since then. and. It's always great to play for a jazz audience because mostly we are the last band to play also today and the people are uh, sitting there through hours of really good and uh, contemporary jazz and then we come with our feel-good music and try to make the people dance and also have a good time and but also with the a uh, kind of jazz music background of ourselves. Mm -hmm. NASOM, New Austrian Sound of Music, um, and uh, that program really helped us to like uh, develop us more into the international music business. Like we had some um, some gigs in different countries uh, in the last year and also in the in the coming season in. For example, um, Athens, um, Poland, Poland, Tunisia, uh, and I think there's still more to come. So um, that's really a pleasure for us to, like, also go out, uh, also aus outside, step mm -hmm. step outside of Austria, and to be able to show our music to different cultures, different countries. Mm -hmm and also get new influences for new new styles of music that we can make and um, develop us more in a certain a certain musical way we try to uh, set realistic goals and from year to year it becomes more realistic to play bigger stages and now we are in a phase that's kind of funny because we played for example a six thousand uh, crowd in Athens and then uh, 20, uh, 20 people crowd at a concert in a small club in Austria. Mm -hmm. So we have both worlds now and that's uh, I think that's a great time to also stay humble and mm -hmm. enjoy the big concerts and the smaller club mm -hmm. concerts.